I am a dreamer by nature. I can imagine things that, that are so improbable, I can be anywhere in my brain. <laughs> I am a dreamer. If you think about what has to go on in your brain, you can remember things uh, of when you were four years old. And you can remember books you've read you know, long after you have read them. That information is encoded in your brain in some physical structures that remain over long periods of time. Probably because we're circulating pulses through it from time to time reinforcing it. But when we are concentrating on something, we're focused on a, only a set of information that our brain has relevant to that moment, that time, and that problem. And it's only when you allow yourself to step back from that and allow yourself to dream about other things that your brain can actually open circuitry that you know may not be so obviously related to the problem, but as soon as that circuitry is opened and you see in your mind something you saw 10 years ago or you heard somebody talk about, then then it starts to resonate, <laughs> then it reinforces itself. When I'm in the midst of a problem or thinking about a problem, I, can, I will frequently put the problem down in my mind and, and move over here and look at the problem from a different perspective. Or I'll, I'll put the problem here and I'll go read a book that's unrelated to the problem I'm thinking about, but in the book I will see something. Or I'll go to bed at night and wake up in the middle of the night and in my mind, I'm working through that problem and suddenly it becomes increasingly clear that this is related to that and I should be, you know, thinking about it that way. So there is, I think, a physiological underpinning to this uh, stepping back and dreaming and opening yourself up to new possibilities that you cannot access if you're just intensely focused on, on one problem.